In my last video, I said I was going to wait until the end of the summer to do this. Changed my mind because I'm doing a project out back. It's currently raining and so I'm held up with that. I figured I'd come in here in the workshop. There are other things that I could do, but this has been on my mind since I did it. On the last video, I did the storm window on the outside. In this video, I'm going to be making and installing the storm window that goes on the inside. Now, this one's a little bit trickier because it has to be sealed enough to stop uh, the moist air from inside getting in between it and the sash that's already in place and steaming it up. I'm going to build the frame from the same material as the outside one. It's this cellular PVC. The only difference here is that I'm going to silicone the glass in tightly into this frame that I make. And then once the frame goes in place, I'm going to silicone that tightly to the existing sash. And hopefully that will stop any moisture from migrating in. I'm also going to create a pocket in the bottom rail that's going to hold some silica gel desiccant that will extract any moisture out of the air that happens to be trapped in between the two panes once I install this. So the first step was to measure the existing window and determine the size that this new one has to be. The styles and rails have to be a specific size to cover the old frame and fit in there properly. And I'm going to cut those on a table saw. This stuff works just the same as wood. Then I'm going to cut a groove that's wide enough for the glass to fit in right into the frame. And after that's done, I can bring it to the miter saw and miter the corners. I've got all my parts cut out. Now I've got to cut the glass. Better to make the actual sash itself, the parts for it at least, so you can get an accurate measurement of how big the glass needs to be before you actually cut the glass. And I've already made marks on here. My glass cutter, straight edge. Cut this. I would prefer to do this outdoors, but like I said, it's raining. Okay, well, that's not great, but at least it broke on that side of it and not the other way. This happens from time to time. Glass is unpredictable in that way. Just going to flip it over and try to break it from the other side. I don't know exactly what happened there. Maybe the, the cutter skipped a little spot and I really should have had a better look. Hopefully this breaks cleanly. And I'm left with a little piece here. And that's what these little notches in your cutter are for. They should fit on the glass and then you can just chip that off carefully. Now I cut the other piece of glass, but unfortunately I messed up and I cut it too narrow, uh, 20 and a quarter instead of 21 and a quarter. So I'll only be able to do one window right now. I'll still be able to use the other piece of glass though. The one that's in the stairwell is actually smaller, a little bit smaller, so I can use it there. I've got my frame set up here in clamps. I'm just going to take the ends off and I've got five minute epoxy mixed up and that's what I'm going to be joining the frame together with. There's a special glue that you can get that works with this material but it is expensive and I don't have any so I'm going to use epoxy. Epoxy will work just as well I think anyway. I think that the glue that they use, the actual glue, kind of welds this stuff together but I really can't see it being any more effective than this because of the nature of the material it is kind of foamy on the inside. I'm just going to put that on here and then I can do the other side as well. 
here and I'm just going to get those up as close to the very corner as I can and I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on there I'm just going to try to keep the corners together and lined up that's all I'm looking for and then I can let that sit for about an hour and it should be good to go I think it's actually like a week and a half later I don't even know where I left off in the last video so I'm just gonna pick up here I think that the last thing I did was I put the thing together then afterwards off camera I cocked it with silicone and smoothed that out I just got to trim off the excess with a razor blade and then I can drill a hole near the bottom which is something I should have done before I put the glass in but you know live and learn drill a hole a three quarter inch counterbore actually and then I'm going to put some of this silica gel desiccant in there and what that will do is it will absorb any moisture that happens to be in between this storm window and the actual uh, window or sealed unit that's in the window as it is now right behind me. I'm going to put these together and any moisture that gets trapped in there obviously can't escape if I cock it solidly around. This stuff will absorb it. Now when I put silicone around here I took a stick that was rounded on the end and I smoothed it off and that left this bit outside here and I'm just going to trim that off with the razor blade and that's a really neat way to caulk and all you need to do is just trim that off and everything looks super professional Okay, I've got my little package of silica gel here. I'm just going to cut the corner open and fill up that pocket. Okay, to keep that stuff in, I'm just going to put a little piece of packing tape over it and trim off the excess with the razor blade. Okay, that's that done, except I need to bring it in and give it a really good cleaning. It has to be super, super, super clean on the inside. Same as this thing here, after I finish doing what I need to do with it. What I need to do with it is I need to cut off this little handle. This helps lift the window up. And I also need to flush down these welds in the corner here where they and heat welded the frame together. I'll just use a chisel to trim those down. Okay, well here it is. I got to put back in the frame. Um, it's a lot heavier with this storm window on the inside, but it still will hold the window open mostly. That's not a big concern for me. These stay closed most of the time anyway. If I really, you know, have a problem with them sliding closed, I can always cut a stick and prop it open like they used to do in the old days. Everything looks good. I screwed it on after I ran a bead of caulking around it. After I cleaned both pieces of glass, 
really, really well. Then I put them outdoors in the sun so that they'd be thoroughly dry. And they've been together now for over an hour and there's no sign of moisture in there so I think it's good. I drove screws through this new storm window on the inside and then I covered the screws themselves with these plastic caps that you see on the, a lot of the knockdown furniture you get in various places. But they're really good for this because they cover the screws and dress it up and you don't really need to mess with it. This is after all just a window and there's going to be some window coverings here probably blinds you really won't be able to see too much of the details of the actual windows themselves the main thing is that they operate and that they let light in i still got to put a little handle down here on the bottom though to make it a little bit more convenient to open it up